YouTube, it's Numistaka here, and it is a grayish day in southern Florida. But I'm here for a few days and making some videos, as you've seen from some of the recent pickups and unboxings that I put up on my channel. And a couple of these um, half eagles kind of have turned up, and I kind of I get intrigued sometimes by half eagles that are in strange holders and I, I figure that it's sometimes better to pick up coins that have been put into strange holders than raw coins because um, even if I don't really trust the grading on them, um, it's clear that somebody else at some stage in their life has treasured these things and coins that have been treasured can be a better buy than coins that have just been stuck in a bag somewhere and used as bullion. So let's take a look. I've got, uh, I want to take these out of the, uh, these slabs and I've got a whole load of tools and I don't know kind of what I'm going to do with these yet, but I've got a few that I thought might be interesting for this exercise. Let's take a look at the first one. So what kind of slab is this one? The coin looks um, to be pretty nice. Um, 1893, it's got no mint mark on the back, so it's minted in Philadelphia. And uh, how do we get into this slab? Well, I don't know whether you may have noticed, but this is not a regular kind of slab. It's something somebody's put together. Um, choice be you. Hmm, don't really know what Choice BU is, but I did see that there was a way into this slab somewhere. Yeah, so this one is fairly straightforward. Doesn't require very much tools or expertise. There you go. It's unslabbed. And we can take a look at the coin. We can take the little holder out. And I want to stick it in one of these, in one side of one of these. I could just probably get the whole thing in with this, but actually I'm not going to. I just want to drop it on and get it in one of these things ready for storage and grading. And we can take a look at it, we can see what it's like. And to me, it looks, I like it, it looks pretty good. I don't know exactly what this will grade at, but one of the telltale signs looking at these half eagles is how many lines you can see in the, the little bun on the back of Liberty's head. If you can see two or three lines, that's one of the highest points on the coin, and that's generally quite a good sign. And you can see when I hold it up to the light, there's, you know, there's, it's actually got quite, quite nice smooth fields. Um, be interested to see what this grades at. I'm not 100% sure, but if I'm lucky, this might grade at MS61 or something like that, but that may be wrong. I've been wrong before, so uh, we shall see. So let's take a look at the next slab. So this one is from a company called PCI. PCI Certified Capsule Coin Grading Services. Uh, it's got a bit of a weird shape, which I haven't seen before. It is, I've never seen one that actually shows the mintage on the front before, but it's a 1907D and it says that it is an AU55. Now, to me, this doesn't look like an AU55. And why doesn't it look like an AU55 to me? Well, I can see quite a bit of detail on that bun on the back. I can see two lines, and that usually means it's more than an AU55. The fields seem pretty good. The date seems quite crisply defined, and that's usually a sign that it's more than AU55. Um, it just looks, it looks better than AU55. I don't know whether there are any other problems on this coin. You know, I've, I've had a coin before last time that was in one of these strange slabs that looked like it was MS64 and turned out to have been cleaned. One or two of you guys picked up on the fact that it had maybe been cleaned and I didn't. So, but, you know, to me, this looks like it's kind of certainly worthy 
of a punt um, and let's take it out of its slab if we can. So uh, what tools are good? I don't think this is going to be hopefully not too hard to take out but let's kind of just chip away at it and see what we can do just getting rid of the top bit. The plastic's pretty brittle so it breaks pretty easily and all I need to do is just get rid of some of this plastic at the top so that the whole thing just comes apart. Let's try taking a little bit of the side as well. Let's see, we've got the label out and we just need to break this apart. See if we can now break break it apart. There we go. And we've got the coin out. We can take a look at that a little bit more clearly. A lot of people don't like this particular Liberty head, but I really think this is one of the most beautiful designs that America has produced. I really, really like the uh, the half eagle. I think it's a really nice size to collect. It's not too small, it's not too big. There are plenty of them, they're easy to find. It's a little bit like our, our UK sovereign. So uh, yeah, okay, so let's put it in, in the other side of this with the other one. So let's just kind of drop it, drop it out into that. drop it in and we've got our two eagles so yeah I'm pleased with those and looking forward to seeing how they grade up at some stage going forward mm -hmm.